What's going on, everybody? Tyler and Sean here from Rendered Reality. Thanks for joining us on Coffee and VR again, your weekly VR podcast. And My yeah, boring cold. week, right? Your coffee's cold. I got Mine's one cup of cold and hot. one cup of hot, so <laughs> I'd have to drink the cold first. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> no. That no, was not bad. cool, man. Bad start. Oh, bad start. That was horrible, dude. Oh, cut. So, cut. Let's retake I, this. I, I definitely did not put the lid on. So if you're new to joining, that doesn't normally happen. Uh, um, but for everyone else, yeah, that might go to the outtakes. So <laughs> but yeah, so now I can actually have my coffee instead of wearing it. But, you know, I need that warning. You know how McDonald's or whatever had to put it? Like, don't burn yourself yeah, with hot coffee. Real. Yeah, this is <laughs> extremely hot. Oh, um, rough start to the morning. But Anyways, Anyways, this is yeah. Coffee and VR. <laughs> Normally a little bit uh, smoother uh, transition into the start here, but that's all right. But we did have a, oh, uh, a pretty big week uh, this p- past week. A oh, couple things dude. I cannot wait to talk about. A couple things I'm very oh. excited to talk about. We did have the Oculus Gaming Showcase. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some of that stuff. Uh, we did do a live stream on Wednesday, I believe. We were joined yep. by Gamertag. Uh, we did a live stream talking all about the stuff that came out around the Oculus Gaming Showcase. If you missed that, make sure you, you watch that. But we are going to talk about some of that stuff because I've played around with some of the stuff that did come out already and a couple things to talk about there so uh yeah yeah there's been a ton of good stuff stuff i'm amped for and uh, i need to ask you guys kind of what i should and shouldn't do i still haven't made up my mind yet i spent too much Um, money this past week (laughs) yeah we did but i i mean it's you know do we need more of something and you know more it's hard because you know with vr there's always stuff coming out right so we always have to weigh what we should and shouldn't buy and when we should buy it um, and, sure. and what's the right thing for everybody. Cause everybody's different on what they like too. So I'm just at that point where I have to make that decision. So yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> Fluke uh, Rogi said, uh, <laughs> should we allow amateur coffee drinkers to host this Dude, show? <laughs> I can't you a straw. Maybe I'll uh, stick that button. Problem that, solved. That was so awesome to see. Gosh, oh, oh, it's but, uh, yeah. So what did you, did you, what? Wait, so speaking of, uh, uh, issues with coffee, I guess I'm on board for making fun of not making fun, but um traveling man he uh caught his uh tea on fire the stove on yeah, fire I and i was <laughs> i was kind of poking at it you know that we are responsible and then i go and spill it so i guess yeah. that's karma yeah pretty much karma. pretty much <laughs> but uh two super chats coming in already thank you to arthur knox that i am here on time this time yes. thank you for that five dollar super chat and traveling man 3775 sent a five dollar super chat that says way to start it off guys with a laughing face yeah that was an interesting uh, way to start it off so what did you do in vr this week did you play any vr with this week i know you had a crazy busy week uh, so did you get I, had, anything? Uh, I I play I jumped into Pistol Whip was really about you know the majority of what I played but yeah I haven't had a whole ton of time this week um, I've been very busy um, it's been a crazy week for me too bad um, uh, Pistol Whip didn't uh, come out with update yet that's I think I they know. just said summer 2021 that new update is looking yep. really good I cannot wait for that Wild West the other one that campaign. I wanted to play again was uh, VR Skater because I just can't get it out of my head. Um, I've been wanting to play that again and it's just so much fun. It's so much yeah, fun. Yeah, VR skater is awesome. I think that's coming yeah. out here pretty soon. Uh, the 30th, uh, the 30th the I third believe. That. Yeah. yeah, so mm-hmm. that is uh, definitely a good one. This is the Smoke and Thunder trailer. Not much in the trailer, but it's yeah. going to be another campaign uh, for Pistol Whip. We did talk about that on Wednesday, but one of the ones that I'm uh, very excited about. I did play a couple things this week. Uh, I did play Sport Mode some more because that actually just got 120 hertz update. Right. Uh, and we can talk a little bit about the 120 hertz update real quick. That is out. Most people should have that now with version uh, 28. Boy. Uh, mm-hmm. on your quest too and i so i played sport mode because this was one of the ones that has 120 hertz mode you can go in and you can uh select 120 hertz mode in the options of the game and you have to have that experimental feature turned on in your quest too uh i didn't notice a huge difference i'm not real susceptible to the the, the frame rates i guess as much as other people so i didn't notice a huge difference between 90 and 120 just a little bit you know maybe a little bit smoother and stuff like that it, it played really good on 120 hertz i didn't have any hiccups or anything like that but yeah, and we, we talked about it earlier, you know, before the show, and I'm very susceptible to usually noticing, you know, hurts and stuff and refresh yeah, rates. on a TV. On a TV, though. But in VR, I don't notice it, and I don't know why, because on a TV, I can pick it out all day. You know, I can notice, I can almost tell you what it is. 
But in VR, it doesn't bother me one bit, which surprises me. Unless it's and like crazy low or something, right? But but even I with the know. index, I don't I from... notice it, but it doesn't bother yeah. me. I guess is more what I should say. I mean, I play my index all the time on 120 hertz, and but I switch back and forth between the Quest and the index. And even when Quest Two came out and it was on 72 hertz, it never really bothered me. Like I I, I don't know, I'm just not as susceptible. But I know a lot of people are saying they notice a huge difference with going to 120 right. hertz. So if that's you, you know, let us know in the comments or in the chat and uh, let let us know if that's you because some people do notice yeah. a big difference and we're playing the sport mode trailer right here we showed this a little bit last week i was playing this on the coffee and vr show and i tried to get some giveaway codes through app lab and it wouldn't allow me to buy as a gift through right. app lab so the developer actually saw that and sent us some codes so we have a, a gleam giveaway going on right now that you can sign up for a code for this as well as we have a couple codes uh on the show to give away too so we have cool. some some cool codes for this. this is an awesome game basically a physics lab uh, yeah. physics playground and they said that they're going to be adding some mini games in soon as well so i definitely recommend picking it up i think it's like 10 bucks on app lab uh really cool game though i mean it definitely gives you that bone works kind of vibe if you're looking for that on the quest and we don't know and, when project four is coming out yet so this should hold you over so well and it's going to have constant they, they're already been talking about updates and doing stuff to it so yeah. it, it's definitely in the works and for the money yeah great yeah, pickup obscure nerd uh, vr said love sport mode i saw that he he had yeah. put out some videos on it too and he had been playing it. i know he likes it so it's really cool especially if you start to get the hang of it you can spawn all kinds of weapons and enemies and stuff in so i'm going to throw up a second code here now if you didn't get that one and also make sure you sign up for the gleam we got a bunch of gleams giving away go away, giveaways going on in the uh description <laughs> Uh, so make sure you check out those uh, pistol whip yep. giveaway, sport mode giveaway, tales from the galaxy's edge giveaway and an Oculus quest Two giveaway. And that's the Oculus quest Two giveaway ends in like 20 days. So make sure what? you sign up for that. So we need to just not give away stuff so much, right? Maybe. Oh gosh, it's Maybe ridiculous, man. But... No, we really do appreciate <laughs> all the developers that, you know, drop stuff all the time for us. I mean, we are honest when we say that is what we are here to do is just return it to you guys. Um, that's all we really ask of developers or anything else. You know, it's just like to hook you guys up with it um, because we just want to get the word out as always, yeah. man. Yep. It's like, just let somebody play it. PD, good to see everybody in chat as well, uh, as well as all the Patreons and stuff too. I did want to thank the Patreons too. Yeah, yeah, we got um, a new Patreon uh, last we uh, Wednesday when we were on the show. We yep. popped that up there. That was uh, Matthew, I believe, uh, is our newest Patreon yep. and definitely uh, appreciate that very much. And I yeah. did put a... Uh, uh, giveaway code on the patreon so if you are a patreon member i don't know if anybody's picked that up yet but there was a, a giveaway code that we posted on there yesterday uh so if you are a patreon make sure you check that out but definitely appreciate all the support it's crazy we love the support so yep, uh, another one that i did play this week is uh mask maker so mask maker came out uh earlier this week and right now it's only on the steam is that right and uh oculus store but it, it's not on yeah. quest yet I, I believe they do have plans to bring it to quest later on down the road i think this is going to be a great quest title uh I, I actually really like this i'm not the biggest puzzle game guy like i I'm, my wife is much more into the puzzle games than i am and i think she's gonna love this game actually she hasn't played this yet uh because she always plays in her quest so she doesn't love pc vr she doesn't like the wire and that kind of stuff but right, uh, right. i was gonna have her go into the this this morning and see what she thought but i was setting up everything for the show and since it was pc vr i couldn't have her really over there playing while i'm trying to produce videos and everything it's just the pc would be struggling so right. but I, I played this for a while this week and it, it's really good and, and it's it, it's a it's not super difficult, but some of the puzzles are a little bit difficult and they get a little bit more difficult sometimes, but there are cues in the game to kind of help give you hints. Cause there's a couple times that I needed a hint and this is, this is my footage kind of playing through back here. I won't show you too many spoilers. It's just the beginning of the game, but it's pretty cool. You, you have to make a mask to get to another location essentially. So when you get to the end of one scene, you know, you'll see a a guy in a mask standing off in the distance and you can't get to him. You know, the bridge is broken or something like that, but you can zoom into him with this eyeglass and then it'll give you a blueprint for that mask. But you have to find the components uh, in the different realms and stuff to build yeah. the mask. And then it's once cool. you build the mask, you can put it on and you transport basically into that character's body and you take over that location and then you, you start your next uh, set of missions. But it's pretty cool. I mean, I was uh, I, I don't really get super excited over all of the puzzle games as much as you do sometimes like Myst. You know, mm -hmm. I had a really hard time with Myst. I still think that's like one of the hardest games ever. Uh, you love that game, but I, I do. It. I do like yeah. the puzzle games, but I don't usually get as excited. But this one was really good. I really like this one. And I, I look forward to going back into this one some more. Sure. I thought it was pretty unique. Some of the stuff they did, uh, and the, you know, the voice acting was good. The, you know, animations and stuff were really good. I do think that this is really going to shine if they bring it to 
quest whenever it does come to quest yeah, I, I, like to. i think gaming science teacher i see her in chat and i think of her i think you know she would really like this game yeah. her and she really likes a lot of the games that my wife likes you know with the puzzle game she recommended the room uh to my wife and my oh, wife yeah. loves that in game I mean, she, she mm. i couldn't get her out of vr to stop playing it so right. like, which well, is normal I know your wife loves all like even like the picture finding stuff, you know, yeah. objects, you know, mm -hmm. find the objects and stuff. And those are that's yeah. very much. Yeah. The the finding and searching and the puzzle stuff and yeah. the atmosphere for it. And yeah, for sure. no, this She's... this does look good. I haven't got to play this one myself yet, um, but it does look good. But ag I agree this this needs to come to the quest. I, I mean, agree. this yeah. this looks like it should be on the quest to me. Um, and I feel like it would make this game. Yeah. I'm uh, not sure why they chose to bring this out on. Right. Steam and PC VR without Quest right off the bat. I guess just they hadn't finished optimizing and doing all that stuff. But, I mean, we see all these games that come out, and we see the amount of money that they make on the Quest oh. as compared, you know, to the yeah. Steam and stuff like that. I mean, there's just so many Quest headsets out there, and this is just the perfect kind of game to put on the Quest. So I just And I think people are more prone to just pick up games quickly on the Quest as compared to PC yeah. because you have to jump through so many more hurdles to buy a PC game. I mean, not always, you know, you can do it on the app and stuff like that through steam, but you know, if you're in the headset and you see something, you're watching the trailer, you're like, you know what? I want something to do tonight. I'm just going to buy it. And yeah. I feel like that's how I end up getting random games that, that I wouldn't normally probably buy. But. Right. Yeah. Gaming science teacher said, yeah, mass maker looks like my cup of tea. Oops. I mean, coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, yeah. you're and allowed Wolf, to have tea. Yeah. Wolf Raza said, I'm a huge shooter at heart, but I still love puzzlers too. And that's, you know, that's usually yeah, my yeah. bread and butter. I, I love the, the multiplayer shooter games so, uh, for sure. But this is, this one is of fun. The, one of the uh, best puzzlers too, um, if nobody's played it, you have to pick this one up is abduction. Um, a great game, super cool puzzle game. Uh, I love that. I still like have, you know, the memories of it and, and what you solve in the world it's in and stuff and the time different. It was really cool game. Highly recommend that as well. It goes yeah. back. I don't know when that came out. Maybe 18. That's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. And uh, yep. somebody Great asked, game. Uh, what game is this? And, and it is Mask Maker. Uh, Marcus yep. Shane asked, which game is this? And this is Mask Maker. Go green. Yep. Just uh, let yep. him know. True. But yeah, it's, a, it's an awesome game. I definitely recommend picking it up. Uh, I have it on Steam. I do oh. believe it's on Oculus Rift Store as well. But yeah, I mean, if you have a quest and you have uh, Airlink or virtual desktop, you can right, still play right, it wirelessly. Right. So <laughs> that yeah. is an option. We're going to get into some Airlink virtual desktop oh, stuff no. later. But yeah. yeah, the game's cool. I mean, it's definitely a, a, a puzzler. You know, you have to search for items to be able to build the mass. And it's really cool. I like the kind of home base uh, studio thing that you have. It's a really cool feeling. I really do uh, like the show. I was, I mean, the game, I was impressed with it. So yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. The uh, shoot, I had a thought. I lost it. I got off track. I saw coffee. Um, <laughs> Don't spill it this time. <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm looking at my disaster I have going on in front of me right now. It's mm. horrible. My keyboard might have survived. Oh, um, man, I hope so. <laughs> luckily, all the keys, you know, it's, it's you know, a, a mechanical keyboard, so you can take all the keys off so I can go down there and clean, clean it. The, uh, yeah. Clean the coffee uh, out of that thing. But, uh, yeah, another thing I did want to mention, I played a little bit of this uh, yesterday, too, was Grapple Tournament. And it Grapple. is free yeah. this weekend on Steam. So it's a free-to-play weekend yep. on Steam. And I definitely recommend trying it out. This is a game that people have been telling me about for a long time, especially uh, Skiva. Skiva kept talking about this, asked me if I've played this yet. And I'm like, man, I've had the game forever, right. and oh I've just gosh, never yeah. jumped into it. It's not one that I often think about. I forget about it when I'm looking for something to play. I jumped in last night, and I did the tutorial and stuff to try to learn all of the controls and the guns and stuff. It's really really good it's difficult though because when i hopped into multiplayer you know these people have been playing this game for a while so they know the, yeah. the guns that are good they're real fluid in the movement because it is a very fast paced game uh sure. you have a grapple hook where you can hook on and swing which i love that uh, mechanic in vr that is one of my favorites you can also jump and double jump uh kind of halo reminds me a little bit of playing halo sure. back in the day with all the people jumping around and the uh the, you have an energy sword pretty much you have a sword that looks like an energy sword from halo uh you also have a bow so there's a lot of different mechanics in this game and it's really good but it's going to take some practice for me i think to get decent at it yeah no it does i, I, I thought i swore we played this though i don't think when we first got it i, I remember so. going into it you might minute, have but, but i never did because i've had it for a long time and i never played it so yeah it, it didn't look this good then I, I mean it was pretty simple they only had i, I think, think we were in the beta, one or two maps yeah oh yeah but it, uh, yeah, and it was fun. Um, but yeah, awesome that they're having a free weekend and it is in the description. 
Um, so you guys should grab it at least to play. I mean, to try. I yeah, mean, you it's can't free to, it free. might as well pick it up free yeah. to try. And also, right. uh, Paradise Decay said Alien Isolation uh, is free on the Epic Store right now as well. And you nice, can do the, cool. uh, the Mother VR mod, which is the, the mod that allows you to play that in VR. So yeah. definitely some things to pick up this weekend that you can play for yeah. free. That's pretty cool. And this one I recommend. I'm sure probably a free weekend kind of helps get the, the player oh, base yeah. up some more and stuff in the game, you know, and, and make some sales and stuff. But it's a cool game it really is a cool game we need to play this together and try to uh, kind of learn the mechanics yeah. a little bit better and stuff because it's always and, more fun playing it with people i just hopped in by myself yesterday and even if you're you know watching the show after the weekend or listen to the audio version uh you could there is still a demo for this too so you can actually download the demo for oh, the is game there a demo too? i didn't yeah. realize yep. that so yep so pretty cool i think yeah. more games should have demos i really I do totally i don't agree. know why i, totally I would agree. probably buy twice the amount of games if i could try them because and i know everyone's always like oh you can return it and return policy i hate doing that I, though i do too i'm just yeah. not like a return guy like give me a demo let me try like the tutorial or something you know give me something but yeah so mark yeah, and shane said this looks more like unreal tournament or quake which yeah i mean yeah yeah it's got sure the those maps vibes. And stuff, yeah. The, uh, yeah i love the grapple hook though i love the the swinging mechanism in vr i don't know what it sure. is but i love that when you know in games when they do that when you can yep. grapple Uper hook and swing or, around yeah you better yeah. grab stuff like that this just feels yeah. to me so good in vr i love it it's so yeah it's so rewarding of a mechanic so that's pretty cool if that's free this weekend i definitely recommend checking that out yeah. for oh, sure yeah. For sure. So, good, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing uh, that I actually played, and this is kind of related to the uh, what was the the Oculus Gaming Showcase uh, mm -hmm. that came out. I, I did play the uh, the climb, the expansion pack, the freestyle expansion pack. Uh, I, this is just the trailer here, but I did play some of that. That came out right after the show or the next day, whatever it was. And yeah. uh, they have the rhythm based one. And that was like the hardest thing ever. Please let me know in the comments if you've played the rhythm based uh, part of the climb or in the comments below afterwards and what you, you thought. <laughs> because I, I tried it and it was uh, it was so hard. Like all the little things, the beat of the music was moving so fast and all the right. grab points were just like flashing all over the place. And I'm like, what is going on? Like I couldn't get it down to where right. it it felt right at all or, or you just have even... to grab to the rhythm so a little bit like but you it know, was weird because pistol whip and getting headshots you yeah know, but i thought it would be more like a steady climb kind of a thing where they would change and stuff like that and you right. would but this it to me it kind of seemed like they were kind of flashing all over the place and i was like it was just sure. it was too much for me i couldn't handle it i'm curious if anybody really was a big fan of the rhythm based expansion pack and maybe i need to give it a little bit more of a, a go I, maybe i didn't give it enough time to really figure it well, out and, and enjoy it but i don't know there's a lot though it's uh you know a lot of it too is just learning it and like once it clicks you know what i mean like stride yeah. you know playing stride at first it feels cumbersome but like once you learn the controls yeah it, it's like it's natural but there aren't but... any controls it's just climb it's just squeeze you I know, know what i mean it's just it, you have to try it you have to try it because it, it see what That's you think crazy. too because it was it was weird to me it just didn't feel right uh the freestyle mode was pretty cool it's kind of like a timed thing uh for me yeah. i'm more about the game the climb for the atmosphere and you know the right. cool scenes and stuff so the freestyle stuff none of this stuff really did a whole lot for me because it, as you can see in the trailer this is what it all kind of looks like it's just color shaped yeah. things that you're climbing and i'm like sure all it's right it's cool but i like to climb mountains. and look around yeah the mountains the scenery right. you know that's that's yeah, what yeah. i thought was cool about the climb so for me the the update luckily it was free because sure. i think if Can't i would have paid for it i would have been a little bit uh, uh, bummed out like because yep. if I'm going to play the climb, I would rather play an actual scene. And I don't, I'm oh, not yeah. all about just trying to get my fastest time on one of these freestyle levels. And, and yeah, to me, I thought the rhythm. Yeah, is I mean, the music good? Uh, the music and the rhythm one, I only did, like, I did never got past the one level. And it was, it wasn't anything. I don't know. I just, I wasn't yep. impressed. I, I don't, I wasn't impressed about any of it. So I'm curious if anybody has tried this and, and what their thoughts are. If nobody live right. in the show has tried it yet, because it, it did come out. Uh, let me let me know in the comments below. I, I wasn't impressed. I don't know. I wish I was, but I wasn't impressed. Right. Yeah, so. it happens. I mean, you can't always knock them out of the park every yeah. time. The climb, though, still is a great game. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, it's just an add on anyway. So it's not like you have to play that. You right. Know, right. I mean, it was cool because it was so. free. I mean, I'm all yeah, about exactly. some free upgrades right. and some people are probably going to love it. It just it didn't really click with sure. me. I don't know. <laughs> I get it. Man, I just so. I, I can't stop thinking about hardware right now, man. That's all I can think right, about. You wanted to get into morning. some hardware stuff? Ah, uh, I want to, but I don't. Well, I was watching um, Greg's VRs last stream, and uh, he was running one of my favorite cars, and uh, mm -hmm. it, it just makes me really, really Whoa. want to uh, race. Cove, Cheers. Cove Poo six. or Cove PU bought six coffees. Says coffee. Mm, enjoy. Cheers. Oh, we will enjoy the coffee. Cove Thank you for that so much. Maybe? Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure cheers. how you pronounce that. Thank you so much. Six and I coffees. did also notice somebody said, did you see that comment uh, uh -uh. a little no. while up? You didn't see that? Mm -mm. 
Somebody nope, said, hey, let me let me read it. It said, hey, mm-hmm. I heard it's someone's birthday. And mm-hmm. I heard that too. Whose no, birthday is it? No, it's not my birthday. It's not? It's not. No, it's not my birthday. It's not your birthday? Nope. Hmm. No. Well, nope. I figured we could have a little party. We'll no, we're not having balloons. a party. <laughs> we'll have some balloons and, and we'll have a little... Uh... Let's not. Let's <laughs> not. Let's not do this. Tyler didn't know I added this in the show. It's actually marked as like top secret and all that stuff. Is I had this, to put it as different stuff. Is this like uh, is this like going to a restaurant and they come and like ten waiters come yes. and sing to you and you have to ride a pony around? And yes, like, you have to yeah. ride a pony around the uh, the the studio here <laughs> for sure. Guys. So I hate you guys. <laughs> Tyler didn't know that was gonna happen. So that uh, she's probably yeah, upstairs is, laughing right now. Probably <laughs> it is Tyler's birthday today, <laughs> so uh, everybody can wish him a happy birthday in chat and in the comments. Beards for my birthday. Oh, oh that's my a gosh. great no, idea. I don't want that maintenance. I don't want that. That is a great Rizzle. idea. Oh man, Cheers. look at that. Rizzle coffee. Rock and a Rock. coffee. So Cheers. run by coffee, which I love their name. They're they're on uh Twitter and stuff. I believe they make yeah. the Goldianator game. I could be wrong. Uh hopefully mm. I got that right. I didn't read what they said though. Uh Rizzle Rock donated five dollars, said happy birthday, $5. Tyler. $5. And uh Rizzle Rock also hardware. donated a five dollar said hardware fun. So we oh, do have some. Dude, hardware that hardware fun though, I can't even think what that needs to be for oh gosh, where we're at. We're, we're gonna get but, into yeah. that for sure. Arthur Knox, cheers, another <laughs> What the heck, you guys? He said, yeah, no, finally, that's awesome. So the, the, actually, the Buy Me a Coffee said, uh, from Run By Coffee said, finally managed to catch the live show. So oh, cool. awesome. I'm glad you're here. That is really cool. Yeah, we're glad everybody's here. We really do appreciate all the you know love for everything. It's just, it's going to be good. Spot. <laughs> Arthur yeah. Knox, uh, $5 Super Chat said, happy birthday. So that's, that's it, awesome. It's so cool when we're actually live for certain things like that. Like, I feel like we've been, you know, we've been doing this for two years. And I was talking to my buddy about it last night. And he's like, have you really been doing it that long? It's like, yeah, we really. Yeah, the coffee and VR show, two years. Um, yeah, we have been doing it that long, but it feels like we've hit all these like big moments and like stuff happens live on the show because we're always here, you know, and it, it's really cool to, uh, to be a part of it and be with you person, guys Person, person said the happy what? birthday song is copyrighted. Oh, I hope it's not. We might get a copyright strike for that. Uh, happy, birthday happy song. birthday is copyrighted. I don't oh know. My that's some bull crap if it is, that's but uh, well, we might, if we go anyway. off the air here, it's all Tyler's fault for having a birthday today. <laughs> And it's worth it for a birthday, right? Yeah. No. I, don't really, I, don't, I don't know. Um, just another day. I mean, it's not. It's it's all good, man. Appreciate being here. Yeah. Glad and you, you actually said something about maybe taking off for your birthday. And then you said, no, nah, I just want to do the show. So that was. Well, yeah. Was the wife cool. was like, well, are you doing the show? Like, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I'm like, I want to do the show for my birthday. So <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Eighth Music Why said not? it's been two years of the question mark. Yeah. So just over two right. years now since the first uh, Coffee and VR show, which is pretty cool. The so. first BS show or Steve XM was watching us and we didn't yeah, know we had like two people in there. <laughs> we're like, we're, we probably started. We're like, holy crap, look, it's live. Somebody's like, we're watching. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that's good anyway, stuff. No, this is the best birthday gift. Cheers, guys. Appreciate being here. Good stuff. Um, you guys are awesome. But yeah, I mean, birthday wise, I know what I want for my birthday. You want to, I feel like you just want to go ahead and get into this. You just want to go ahead and get into Dude, this. It's all I can think about since 1230 yesterday. That's all I can think. So about this now. trailer is actually pretty cool. So what happened is <sighs> uh, the y'all Two motion sim rig came out uh, on their Kickstarter came out. What was it yesterday? I believe yesterday and, at 1230. Yeah. Yes. And we had kind of talked about this before on the right. show and we never, we were kind of like, yeah, I don't know. You know, we didn't, I don't know. We weren't super excited about it, but we were excited about it. And the more we looked into well, I, it and we saw look, a video. The salad bowl. Who is that yeah, excited the first seeing y'all. the salad bowl, right? Yeah. I it mean, didn't look on, that cool. Like, I mean, this one looks no. so much cooler than the first y'all, which if you yeah. remember, it was just like a green bowl that you sat in and it moved around. It was cool for what it was. Uh, definitely gave them right. their start. And a lot of people really enjoy it. A lot of people bought that and it, and it works well. You know, people, and I even thought about it, buying it. I just, you know, the look of it and stuff, I, I wasn't something that I wanted to have sitting around in the VR room all the time. Right. So, no, who does? Yeah. Yeah. So this um, is their second version. And this actually has uh, a couple different things you can add to it and everything else. Sure. And the more we saw it, you know, at first we were like, cause they didn't really show us a whole lot of stuff about it before it came out. We saw a couple clips and a couple pictures, uh, yeah, but the, the speed of it actually looks really good. It's got a lot of motion, you know, the forward backward motion, right. uh, is quite a bit. 
and their Kickstarter went live yesterday and they had, so they have their early bird price special and they 50. only had 50 of them. And right. I was at work and I was watching, I was like, well, I'm going to see, you know, how this goes. So I saw it said starting at like $790 and I was like, yeah, but what right. is that for? That's like crazy cheap. So the Kickstarter went live and I saw that I could get the early bird one for $790 and I pulled the trigger. I was like, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to do it because yeah. I know if I think about it, if I, if I look any more into it, that early bird price is going to be gone. So for right. $790, I could not pass that up. And, and what that is for is essentially the base that doesn't come with a seat. Uh, none of them came with a seat. You have to add that right. on separate. So I didn't do any of the add-ons because I didn't have time to read through them. I just wanted to make sure I got that 50 yeah, or that 50 part. unit early bird price <laughs> yeah. for 790 bucks. It's like, uh, it's like getting a graphics card. You like, yeah. you just have to hit that, yeah. like just purchase. Yep. Done. It like, said it was available. I mean, I was yep. there right when it went live. So I, I went ahead and did it. Uh, I'm really excited about it. I do want to try to probably get the seat from them as well, maybe, or I'll right. just get an, uh, any, I mean, any racing seat will fit it. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Michael Fedler said, right. happy birthday. Cheers. So $5 thank super you, chat. Yeah, Cheers. thank you for that. Cheers, really, yeah. It is I saw awesome. everyone said I was birthday. 67. Um, they thought I was maybe age. 67. You look good for No, your honestly, age. I was thinking about that. I feel like I was born again in 2016 when we went hardcore VR, man. It yeah. like started a whole new life, man. Can you imagine so what what, six, what technology will be like five? when you are sixty seven? Oh gosh, dude! Oh my god, yeah. when we're that old, like the technology is going to be insane. Like right. I can even imagine god. being sixty seven now and being thrown into VR. And like I know I've mm -hmm. we've put family members in, we've seen videos. Absolutely, and stuff like that. it's just it's mind blowing for them because even just the technology, oh, other than VR, you know, is still amazing. Even to me, yep. I mean. So <laughs> Lincoln Clay, five dollars super chat said. Cheers, uh, Lincoln Clay. Y'all sim racing, some, uh, done deal. Some Alvo uh, earlier, and yeah. I think last night too. I was watching. Yeah, they're big sim racer guy there. So I, I, know. I definitely am going to be. I actually got a new wheel and shifter. My Logitech one wasn't working right that I just recently got, so I'm getting a replacement that's coming in today. So I look forward yep. to setting that up, and I really look forward to getting this. I believe this is supposed to ship out in June. And Tyler was at work when this whole Kickstarter went live, yeah. so he wasn't able to get that early bird price. But he's still considering buying one right now because the price wise is still very competitive still with any kind so, of motion sim rig out there really yeah, now, that's what i was gonna say so i've been debating you know the h3 from dof and it's you know but it still runs i think landed like 2600 something like that um so right now you know all in with the full 360 motion yeah because that is right an add-on the 360 right. motion is an add-on part that you have to put on it doesn't come with it and i didn't get that i am considering trying to pick that up for it as well but yeah which is another 400 bucks and i think it's right now you're 10 1090 for the seat the add-on motion is another 500 i think because of shipping and then yeah. shipping on the seat on top of that right. it lands right at 1790 so Which that's still, still awesome for still what cheap. it is. And then full 360 motion. You're like, I don't know. Do we really need that? But to me, you know, with sim racing, especially, you know, you, yes, you, you straight line without the 360 or turning movement. Um, you, you still have the side to side. So, it, you but still it still feels like, like this too. Right. And it does, but you don't have true movement where, you know, when you change direction in a car and a track, you actually whip around and that's where you face. Yeah. Um, so you do have that actual motion that stops and, and you would feel it and it's real, not just false. The only you know, other thing with that is how you, I don't, I've never used, uh, the, the y'all, the first y'all or anything. I hear their software is pretty good, but if you're playing in vr and this seat is rotating 360 degrees and you right. don't have the camera or so, you know the, the lighthouses or something mounted to the rig sure. like how is it going to compensate for that for what do you mean tracking wise no so if you're sitting and the car spins but you so you're in your headset you know what i mean like you're gonna see it, it turn not right you know what i mean like it would mess up the where the forward mo forward direction is in the car, you know what I mean? Like but how in do they sim racing, that? it's not changing your view because you're not turning your view in it. But the but headset yeah, I know itself you're saying, is spinning around. I mean, is, how is it going to keep track of, you know what I mean? I don't know. It must cancel that out because the, the list of or games and stuff that they have it. adapted yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I'm sure they've compensated and for Susan that. And Susan Cottrell, I believe yeah, she said happy Susan. birthday with a $20 super chat. I believe she sure. sent uh, uh, quite a few coffees in the past too through Buy Me a Coffee. Really appreciate that. That's awesome. Cheers, We really, really do appreciate it. Yeah, we really do. 
Man, I need to start pounding coffee. Talking about it. talking about racing games, uh, we got some more codes to give away. This one is actually thanks to yep. VR Spry guy. He sent us this code uh, to give away. This yep. is Dirt Rally 2.0 on Steam, which is an excellent, excellent game. Cheers, I love guy, Dirt man. Rally. So that was cool to give that away. But yeah, I, I'm really excited about this. I am not the biggest sim racer uh, out there, but I feel like getting this y'all and with a good wheel and all this setup, I feel like it, this is going to pull me in big time. Like, oh, I feel dude. like this is going to be something that I want to play with as long as the setup is easy, as long as, you know, the software works good. Cause that is the one sure, thing. If I sure. got to spend a ton of time trying to work out kinks in the software and getting everything to work right, uh, that is going to turn me off. So we'll have to You're see how see, that goes, but you'll see adaptation across the board for this man with yeah. all, with all games, basically, um, especially, you know, games that adapt to VR, are going to pull this in because they have to want the new stuff. You know, a lot of racing, not a lot, but actually most of them probably do pull VR in now. Yeah. Um, there's not many mainstream racing ones that don't enable VR yeah. inside of it. So I feel like it's a no brainer for them. I mean, they love accessories. They love, you know, all the steering wheel and stuff to work with every game. So this will be yeah, right I'm in excited. There with and uh, we did want to talk about on the pricing. So for me, I saw, I saw the real Superman said that he got the early word special with the y'all mm-hmm. platform. Uh, saw that. And it was $310 for shipping for him, but he must've had some add-ons because for me, it was $200 for the, the platform to ship. So it was 790, so, but it came to 990 with the shipping. The platform, you also add shipping on. Yeah, everything. Uh, I think it, it's 110 chair. for yeah, that. If yeah. you bought the chair, the chair, it was extra shipping. If you bought the, the yep. 360 platform, it was extra shipping. So yep. uh, it, it's still, but it's still cheap. It's still so much cheaper than uh, what the other motion sim rigs. And I've always wanted one. I've just never wanted to spend the money. So And, and how about, hold on, let me go over and look because the amount of money in the first 30 minutes, they almost had four or 500,000. Um, which is crazy to me to think that they made oh, that yeah. much. It went, way, it went like up real minutes. quick. It went up real and quick. Right they now, these it things like crazy. is, I'm just curious to see where it is. It's at $728,000. That's it. So it hasn't even been tw- 24 hours yet. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, they only had a goal of a hundred thousand, which they crushed obviously it. <laughs> they were going to kill that. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so but I'm curious to see how like quick they're going to get them out as well. It says June. Uh, I'm pretty sure it says June. They're supposed to start shipping out. I thought most of it said September. Uh, um, Maybe it was just early bird ones that were supposed to be earlier. And maybe some of them say June and then September for the, uh, the later ones. Yeah. So, there is a, a little bit of a delay, you yeah. know, pushing this out, but so we'll Chattica see. 75 said missed early bird, but I backed anyway. Can't wait. looks yeah. awesome. It really does. It looks really, really good. And in this video here, they're playing Microsoft flight simulator, uh, with the 360 platform and the yeah. full, uh, motion rig using a quest Two, which is pretty cool. I, I uh, hopefully this, uh, have you played any of the racing games using uh virtual desktop wirelessly on your quest? Hmm. That's a great question. Um, I think I have once. I think Hopefully so. those work okay because I would much prefer to play this uh, wirelessly. Oh, yeah, without wires. Yeah, if not, I'm definitely going to have to try to get like that cable um, pulley system or something. But they have know. a, I'm pretty sure there is some type of, uh, there's a breakout on this. Yeah, but I don't know if that's uh, an add-on as well. Some of the add-ons were kind of confusing. And, I know. Uh, I think it may be the Pro only has yeah. that. The Pro the pro version of the Yaw platform transmits electricity and transfers usb connection too so maybe not because there is nothing for hdmi or anything like that or uh, display port or whatever yeah so i don't know i I mean i've I've never personally had a sim motion rig at all Uh, i have the play seat challenge which is a fold up uh sim rig i guess you could call it so i'll probably get rid of that because i can't imagine i'll use that anymore once this is around yeah. so i mean i am super excited tyler hasn't ordered one he's still in the fence i think you guys need to tell him if you should order one or not i'm telling him i think he should because he is much more the sim racer guy than i am i think he'll he'll love this thing and honestly i need him to get one too because then he can help me troubleshoot mine when i'm having oh, issues yeah, so good. yeah i'm like all right that. tyler what am i doing wrong this thing ain't working but, but you know again it's always you know and like i said you know at the beginning of the show too it's always how much can you put into to one thing you know or spend on something or what else is coming down the road that yeah. you have to save up for um so it's it's still for what it is it's it's the best bang for the buck it is but it's still expensive um, i mean you're still looking at a thousand dollars more more than a thousand dollars still a lot of money right. to spend so right. it is hard and honestly for me if i would have thought about it more i probably wouldn't have ordered it it was just that thing of it's available right now i have have seconds to to do it yeah and if i think about it i'm gonna miss out so i just did it and it's still a lot of money to spend but 
I, right. I do feel like what this offers, I feel like it's a pretty good deal. And I feel like it looks cool. Like it looks awesome. I don't mind having this thing sitting in my room compared to that green salad bowl of the y'all yep. one. So, and I don't, and I also think some of the led stuff that you see in the trailers, I believe that was also an add on. So I don't know what all add ons I can still add on. I, I'm going to contact them because they said, right. uh, if you back the Kickstarter, they sent out an email saying that some of the add ons were kind of confusing. If you, if you messed up, you know, email us. Cool. I, I did email them just to see what options are still available, but I didn't even have time to look through the add-ons. I just wanted to hit the button before I lost the opportunity to get it for that price. So, yep. yeah. If I would have, if I probably wouldn't have been working and stuff, it probably would have happened, yeah. but I know. And Greg's VR uh, said, I'm curious about the software compensation with SimRays. And that's what I, I'm, I'm yeah. curious about that too, with all the tracking stuff, like with a, if you're using outside in compared to inside out tracking, you know, I've never, the only time we've ever used one was at PAX when they had one set up and that right. was with eye racing and stuff. And that was, you know, a controlled environment. They knew what they were doing. They, they, that's all they did was that kind of stuff. So their setup was really awesome, but yep. yeah, I, I'm excited about this. I really am, you know, for flight Sims, for racing games, I just oh, feel yeah. like that'll add so much to the experience that it's just i'm really looking forward to it yeah i mean all the games like just looking at some of them that have already adapted even like warplanes and stuff you know what i mean new stuff that yeah i haven't even looked at all the stuff that uh it it works with yet but i know you know they've worked out a lot of kinks and stuff with their first y'all so hopefully this was going to be you know the y'all too is going to work even more flawlessly and everything so i mean i'm i'm super stoked i i haven't been this excited in a little while for something that's coming so the other thing that, you know, I kept thinking about, and I don't know, is nobody talks about it, but, you know, somebody with, like, disabilities that had no movement of their legs, do you know how much freedom, like, in even, like, a shooter, that they couldn't stand up, that physically turning, like, could you actually turn your player, you know what I mean, and and physically spin around and stuff, like, something like, like that. Like, use it for games super... other than uh, racing yeah, and stuff? Than, yeah, other than cool. racing or flight sims, because... You could literally sit there and when you move your player, like what if you had no mobility of your legs? Yeah. You could turn yourself physically in that and space. And you would feel on... yourself spinning in oh, real life and awesome, stuff. Yeah, that would man. be cool. Yeah. They, they do talk about this being used for other things like uh, posture correction and a desk yep, to relax workspace. in and a workspace and you kick it back. Sure. And I mean, they, sure. they're saying there's a bunch of other uses. So maybe they will adapt some of that other stuff. I don't know. I'm yeah. sure that's not their focus, but I think that would be kind of cool. I mean, I do. I did just recently get cyber shoes. Uh, uh, and, and I have that in the box over right. here. I haven't even opened it yet, but I do really look forward to that. That comes with the yep. stool and everything. I, I'm looking forward to trying that out because yep. I've heard good and bad things about, you know, people love it. People don't like it, but I can't wait to try it for myself. I just got to get time to set it up. And, uh, but thanks Again, to Skiva and stuff. Skiva yeah. was a big part yep. of them sending that to Alex us. So yeah, Alex and Skiva. So, so. Yep. thank Cheers. you to those guys. I really do look forward to checking that out. I, I like, I like hardware, you know, I like accessories that we always talk about that. That's stuff that I get yeah. excited about. So I'm excited to, to try that oh, stuff no. out. And, uh, yeah, Greg's VR said would be killer for roller coasters, and especially yeah, new people to VR to, to come to bring uh, oh, yeah. bring them, put them into VR, put them in something like this to try out a roller coaster or something. You know, I think that would be really cool. So even uh, I think GTA Five is on the list too, which I wonder how that would work. What? But it's on the list. Yeah, of, that works. Yeah, with this? of games and stuff that are going to work with it. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, I haven't even looked at the list, but. So it'd be, yeah, it's interesting because that's, you know, a walking game and stuff in itself too. So yeah. I wonder how Alex that would said work. you could use y'all to spin around like Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's awesome. Uh, oh, traveling man. Great, man. He said these will be in location-based shipping container VR arcades. So they do have a, a, like an arcade yeah. version, a more expensive version that's a uh, four arcade with like stronger motors. And I mean, there's yeah. so many different add-ons. It, it really was kind of confusing, but I am excited. I'm excited to get it. I can't wait to try this thing out. Uh, I, I think Tyler should order one too. I told him this morning, I was like, just order one, man. Like, I mean, for this price you've been talking about motion sim rigs forever but about wanting to get one i feel like for this price you know it's hard to beat and i i don't know for sure but isn't the price even of what you can get it now isn't that going to go up once it's out of kickstarter i have to imagine i don't know they didn't say i don't think i don't know because sometimes not because it's not still like a early bird or kickstarter it's probably what it's going to go on it may go up a little bit yeah, uh, but it's probably pretty close. I mean, I uh, got this for cheaper than what you can buy the first y'all for. If you go on the website, right. the, the first y'all is either a thousand or fifteen hundred, I believe, for the pro version. Yep. And my I, guess was twelve hundred was what I told you. I thought it would probably go live for, and then when you're like seven ninety, I'm like, why yeah. wouldn't we? You know yeah. what I mean? I thought it was going to be even more than that because this, I mean, I was looking at the price of the first y'all compared to this. And I was sure. like, dude, this thing's going to be two, two or three grand probably is right. what I imagine. Again, sure. it doesn't come with a seat. It doesn't come with the 360 platform. There's a lot of add-ons, but I mean, you can pick up a racing seat for cheap. I mean, you can pick up a used one for real cheap. So I'm not yeah. too worried about that. I would like to get the actual one, but I don't know if I will for sure or not. I haven't sure. decided, but so yeah. 
I don't know. I think you should order one. I know. I know. <laughs> it's. Uh, we'll see. I yeah. guess if everyone else wants me to, I guess I'll have to. Oh, jeez. I mean, you know everybody's going to tell you. I guess that's what it comes down to. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. man, I know. So I'm excited. I, I really am. I think it's I think it's really cool. Uh, there are a couple other accessories out. Uh, I saw these come out, and this oh, is actually yeah. part of our, uh, our thumbnail, is the Rebuff Reality. They came out with a couple uh, new products. I don't know how long these have been out. I just saw these online. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one of these things is a neck fan, which I never really thought about this uh, for VR. You can buy these. We actually put a link in the description for another one that's on Amazon for, I think, around like 20 bucks. Uh, yep, and it has 20. vents like all the way around. And, and this actually might be kind of cool. I'm curious if anybody has used any of the, ki- these kind of things uh, for VR. This is the Rebuff Reality version that we're showing here. Uh, and I think theirs is $30, but it might be kind of cool for people, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking like fitness games and stuff like that, but I'm wondering how stable it's going to be, if it's going to kind of flop around or move right. around if you're moving around a bunch. But I mean, you do get hot in VR. I mean, that's one of the issues that VR has is, you know, you know, the heat that the headset adds to your head, you know, you ha- you're wearing something on your head. You're it's very physical VR is. So uh, I don't know, this could be something that would be pretty cool to try out. So uh, it does help too with the motion sickness aspect because if that's, you have air it, moving, yeah, that's true. It does. It really does. You know, playing games and it just gives you that like feeling of not being claustrophobic or, you know, moving air uh, on your face. But yeah, I don't know if I see a necessity for it yeah, in my I eyes. I mean, not to me, I guess, but it might be kind of cool. I don't, know. I don't know. Alex yeah. VR said it, the neck fan seems like a gimmick to me and, and right. it might be, I don't know. I, I've never tried any of these kind of things, but I, I'm a big fan of ceiling fans, which I know most people hate with VR, but if my room is luckily big enough that I have a ceiling fan, but I don't play directly underneath it. So I've never hit it. I've never come close to hitting the ceiling fan or anything like that. But I, I yep. really like having moving air on me while I'm playing VR. It is definitely something that I feel is almost a must sometimes because I mean, unless it's winter time and it's freezing cold, you know what I mean? But especially in the summertime, if you're doing something physical or just for the effect of air blowing on you as you're moving, you know, we talk about sim rig and a lot of people build sim rigs that have fans yeah, on the front right. of the sim rig that are blowing on them. I mean, it's just more of that, uh, you know, a feeling of, of actually being in the place that you're seeing in VR more sometimes. So. Sure. Yeah, no, I agree. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it can't hurt, I guess, but I don't know. Yeah, and Wolf Raza said a simple box fan in front of you stuff. works fine, and that works right. too. Uh, I am curious on some of these neck fan things of how loud they are, because if they're very loud, I feel like that would be kind of annoying. I can't imagine they're very loud, but hopefully they're pretty True. pretty silent. But Yeah, I just want the headphones. <laughs> don't give us Arcade. fans. Starcade Arcade said, big fan of ceiling fans. See what you did there. <laughs> but, <laughs> they also do uh, rebuff reality. There's an image in here of their saber grips, they're calling them, which they're, uh, it looks like silicone grips. They kind of go around sure. your hand as well. And they have the wrist strap too. You can see that image. Kind of cool. I don't know. They're, yeah. they're, I still want the, yeah, I still want the rebuff reality headphones. That, I'm still a little disappointed like, in rebuff reality that I have not received those yet still. <laughs> How are we coming out with other things and not the headphones? Like mm-hmm. again, that, and that's where Kickstarter can start to burn people too. Um, and my yeah, buddy was asking me yesterday, how do you know you're going to get it and stuff? And I'm like, well, you have to go off that company's Reputation, previous. Uh, yeah. yeah. So they've done it before, uh, solid products and stuff, good support. You know, you just yeah. have to go off. Yeah. Experience of if what it, they've if, done. If that was, so if that y'all two simulator was their first product, right. Kickstarter, I, I probably have. wouldn't have backed Correct. it for that much yeah, money. Yeah. I'd have been too right. weary to spend that much money on a product that I wasn't sure about, but since they have a yeah, working product, that's already been out a ton of people that we know have it, have used it, have liked it. You know what I mean? That, that gave me the confidence that they're actually going to yeah. ship this thing to me. So that that's good. I don't know if I'll ever get my rebuff reality ear, ear phones. I don't know about that, but <laughs> I know. That, I mean, that's... I have to imagine we will. They're an actual company too, but they yeah. are. But I mean, how are we still in tooling phases? Or are we just past the tooling phase for I it? Don't so know. I mean, we're gonna. I'm gonna have a Quest Three right. by the time they ever ship these things that's... out. You know, first they said if you want to, it was developed for the first Quest. Yeah, and Quest then One we and Rift S. That and we had yep. the release of the second one, and then it's like, oh yeah, well now we're gonna have to include adapters for yeah, the, for the second, second one. one. And now maybe the third now... one. But I mean, I, I think it should be out before the third one. I don't think we're gonna see a third one anytime <laughs> soon. But I'm starting to wonder. I don't know. It's hard to say. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Hard to say, man. It's impossible so. to say yeah so see other accessories you want to talk about the deck of gear a little because this is another thing i'm amped for and another reason why you have to save some bucks yeah i'm so, kind of on board with deck of gear now man because at first we were like until we, we see faith. something we can't stand behind it you know we could 
we're the kind of people who, you know, we have to buy everything that we, you know, bring to you guys. So for us, we, again, are spending our dollars to do that. So until we see something physical, yeah. we're not going to invest in it, um, nor do we, you know, and, and, and yes, we have had some stuff from them now sent to us. Yeah, we, um, the Deca move. Uh, this was the bloggers right. edition. So this was sent to us. This isn't uh, one that we purchased. This is like the, the pre stuff that they sent out before. But we have proof of actual products that actually work and are done right. Um, and even their software development, we know their, yeah, their software they have works some, really good with this. Yeah, actually. they have capabilities to to have their own software and do it correctly. So it's actually brought me back on board to want to see a headset from them. I'm still, you know, on the fence because a headset's a big undertaking right. over a track. Obviously, yeah, for sure. um, there's yeah. a lot more involved. Like, yes, there's tracking involved with it, but there is extensively more things than a headset. Yeah. So but, it's but it's a proof of concept. They, they've they've yeah. put out a product that I've used that I really, really enjoy. We put out a video yesterday kind of talking about this because this is available for pre-order now uh, for $59 and, and it works awesome. And, and the video kind of explains more how it works and stuff. But for first person shooter games and stuff, this is oh, yeah. almost a must have now. It's hard for me to play those kind of games without having this, which I do oh. hope that they get. Uh, I saw something that said they have native Quest 2 support. And I sent them an email trying to clarify what that meant because I don't know of any way to use it with the quest Two headset wirelessly, you know, this works with right. PC VR. Uh, and I have to imagine what they meant is with link, you know what I mean? Right. That, that caveat exactly. of with link, yeah. but, uh, hopefully if they can get this working with the quest headset, uh, standalone, that would be awesome. And I don't know if that's in their, you know, uh, in their wheelhouse of something they're trying to do. I don't know, but right. they are coming out with a phone app as well. So you don't have yeah. to have this tracker. There is going to be a phone app. That's going to essentially do the same thing because the sensors are very similar, you know, and how they work, uh, inside your phone as what this tracker yeah. has. And, uh, but so for me, okay. I would rather have this little thing that I can recharge and stick sure. in my pocket. It weighs almost nothing. And right. I don't Doesn't have to worry about my phone. If I want to use my phone for something else, if my phone's not, if I don't want to have it in my pocket, some people don't always play VR with their phone in their pocket, but that is going to be an option. So I definitely think, you know, consider that if you're thinking about ordering this, but the pre-order, I believe the price goes up by 10 bucks after the pre-order is over. Sure. So it's pretty cool. I, I think it's, yeah. it's a really cool product. But I mean, they're they're trying and they're innovating and they're pushing, you know, stuff mm -hmm. out and hardware. Uh, and Death Tune said something in chat. Uh, did you see the new trigger? Yes. Uh, yes, we did. Because this again, you know, we're getting those haptic feedbacks now in the trigger. Um, yeah, like, and if you play, can't... like PlayStation, Sony's doing this. So right. they're really pushing some stuff. And if they're going to include this and they're playing contractors, in their headset, which I they already are playing like. contractors. So we're already sold. <laughs> but, yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you can't see this in the video, if you're watching a cell phone or something, it's too small, but it actually has the adaptive trigger. So when the gun is shooting, the trigger is actually moving too, kind of like similar to what PlayStation is doing with their uh, DualShock oh, controllers. Good. So just this, the fact that see that they're, they're, they're doing this kind of stuff, you know, which I, I think other companies are probably going to pick up on this too, but we haven't seen it right. really. We haven't seen a prototype uh, from other VR companies that I can think of actually doing this. So obviously this isn't an actual trigger they're holding. This is, I mean, an actual controller they're holding. This is just showing uh, the, yeah, the trigger. trigger so receiver. this is something yeah. that's going to be added into a controller. So that, that has me yeah. excited. I mean, I think this is really cool because you can use that effect for all different kinds of things, not just gun mechanics, which I think oh, works really absolutely. good, but, but yeah. all, I mean, even jump scares and you know what I mean? There's all kinds of things you could use that feedback and the trigger to do. And yeah, and like I, what if you pick up something and it breaks or something, you know what I mean? Or you break a bottle and it like it, it gives way it yeah. has tension and then it gives way when you break it or you know lots yeah. of things you can do with it a lot of really cool things yeah so I, I do like what they're doing i just hope that we get to see these implemented in the headset for that you know what did they say 459 or i forget what it yeah, is now camera. it's not supposed to be real expensive I mean, but i mean right. uh, which could go up which yeah. definitely could go up Maverick Pew, Pew, Maverick. Po, I don't know how to say his Pew. last name. I'm Maverick sorry. Pew. Okay. Cheers, man. Said, happy birthday, Tyler. Great coffee in VR. So thank you for that thank super you, chat. Man. Five yeah, we super really chat. do appreciate really it, man. Really appreciate it. So, so far, uh, the birthday's starting off right. I yeah. will say that. Spilt coffee. Well, no better way to start of, a yes, birthday right. than spilt coffee. Because but, uh, I'll smell like coffee the rest of the day. Hey, so what's nothing wrong with that. After you yeah, drink a whole pot of coffee, you probably smell like coffee anyway. I have had two cups of coffee before the show as well. Well, you had a late night last night. You had kind of a birthday party thing going on, which I told him I said you should stream the birthday birthday party in 360 so that i feel like i can be there too like on a 360 right. camera set it up and stream it because I, I totally would have jumped in my headset and hung out you know what i mean put right like let me i'll stream to you my audio or something that way it's like for real i'm there you can put like a little I, thing by the like a uh because I'm, I'm sure you have like a bust of me table. i'm sure you have like a bust of me somewhere at your house so you could have set that right. right by the camera so it looked like i was really there True. 
I but, keep it beside my bed at night. So when I, I wake up and I'm scared, I see you and everything's okay. The beard calms me. Yeah. That's right. I kind of rub it. But yeah. Like, oh, bad dream is over. Bad dream is over. Dude, but no, I know. Last night I could have. It, w- it was pretty late. But uh, we all we, we talked about YouTube stuff for like two hours. Me and my buddy David. Yeah, I actually got a phone call last uh, night from David. I was asleep and I didn't even I never even heard it. I, I saw the I saw the the call the missed call this morning. I was like, oh crap! I hope everything's all right. Like it's not normal for Tyler, oh, yeah. for Tyler to call me in the middle of the night. Like what's going on? Right. So, True. Yeah. No. No. Nope, yeah. It was good, but it would have been an entertaining uh, conversation. We were talking about other podcasts and the Yak and all kinds of other you know. Yeah. different podcast out there which we, we love we love listening to other stuff and and venturing out to uh other stuff places that's not even related to network. vr yeah, so yeah it's not exactly even, yeah just, but yeah, yeah for sure uh, i did want to mention talking about the deca the deca gear and stuff fluke rogi said deca move is basically an imu in a box it's a far mm-hmm. cry from them being able to actually deliver a decent go. hmd i totally agree and yep. I, I still need to see an actual headset before, you know, and try it. But, you know, yep. we were very negative about the deck of gear when we first saw all this stuff. And we're like, what? They're like, they don't like, I don't even know if this is ever actually going to be a product. Right. So it does have me a little bit more excited. I can't say that I'm fully invested in deck of gear yet. You know what I mean? I like what they're doing. I'm excited to see the stuff that they're putting out, but it does give yep. me a little bit more hope about a future headset. And I hope they can pull it off for the price tag they want and the specs they want. I hope they can pull it off. I wish them the absolutely. best. Absolutely. Really I know. Absolutely. Wolf Raza. Yeah. Cheers, man. Said happy B Day, Tyler. Great stream as always. Thank you for Thank that. Thank you. I want to see some totally content, man. It. Hook us up with some cool content. You yeah. got the stuff, man. He's been see working it. on some stuff for sure. So definitely. Uh but yeah, I, I mean I think the adaptive triggers thing, I, I want to see this in all headsets. I think that, you know, PlayStation, yeah. PlayStation set the bar. I mean, they're the ones that came out with this. This is essentially their design and idea, but it, it works. You know, it's a good yeah. idea. So I want to see some of it uh, coming to VR and hopefully they do with their, they do the same thing with PSVR two and their, the controllers for PSVR two, right. which I have to imagine they will. And I almost think sure. they said that they will. I can't remember now, but yeah, it's already in their regular controllers. I yeah. don't know why they couldn't implement that into the VR one. So yeah, yeah. I'm sure they will. For sure. But I'm yeah. excited. I'm excited about what they're doing. I want to see a headset. I, know. I want to see a headset we need the in hand. Try it out. Yeah. I love yes. hardware stuff. I love we need more accessories, headsets, hardware. Man. I'm all about it. So I know. So what about HTC's new headset? Speaking of headsets, <sighs> I mean, is this, could it be what we're going to see? And uh, yes, a rendition we of it. <laughs> this was only a concept for a design uh, right. contest, but it would be amazing. I mean, we've talked about some of this stuff and having some of this, the modular stuff. Uh, having this athletic, which is a huge thing right now. Uh, it's huge to have athletic stuff and workout stuff and being at home. So this would hit a super cool spot that we haven't actually seen a company do. Yeah. And, and it looks modular. Know, it looks like you can pop is. this out. You can change out the head strap probably. And the, yep. I mean, it, and we've always talked about making headsets modular where it's a way to change out things without having to buy a whole new headset. If you want to do something different, I uh, right. honestly, so when this first came out, nobody realized right at first that this was just a prototype until HTC cleared the air. So there was, probably about an hour or so where everybody was posting this on Twitter and everybody's like, what this right. got leaked. Cause essentially this was a design award through a website, uh, or through a yep. company, IF world design. Yep. IF uh, world. yeah. And, and this was and they're, essentially they're saying this was a prototype, like this isn't actually coming, but they did mention that some of the designs from this could be used in a future headset. We know HTC sure. is doing a mobile headset this year is supposedly what is happening. But when I saw this, I was excited. I was very excited because I, I mean, from looking at this, it looks lightweight. It looks very breathable. I mean, you can see the vent, so it looks like you should have good airflow all through this. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the sides are kind of more of a fabric, almost like uh, a CV1. You know, CV1 had a lot sure, of the sure kind of fabric stuff around it. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I was actually really excited. Other people were like, oh, it looks terrible. I'm glad that's not what they're coming out with. But right. uh I don't know. I, I, I thought this was pretty cool. And I do hope that they take some aspects from this. I do hope that it is somewhat modular. I do hope that it is lightweight because the, the Quest 2, in my opinion, is still too heavy. Uh, right. I do hope that it is very breathable and it has good airflow. And So I think the weight, though, we're, we're, we're at a point where I don't know if we can get much lighter with stuff. I mean, by the time you get everyone wants more battery life. So, you know, as you lose weight, they're probably adding more battery to it. So but they need to like we talked about before, they need to put that I battery know. and that compute power on the back. They do. Give us something on but the then back you're not to offset. Have, you're not going to have modular then because all that has to be in one device then at that point. So, you know, yeah, this to about me reminds me more stuff. You can still of going it, back. But... 
Well, right. But this reminds me of going back to more of like the Gear VR days where you're loading a phone in it. The phone has your screen, your processor, every the, the tracking. Well, really didn't have tracking, but your, you know, uh, gyros and all that stuff yeah. are in that device. So now you again are at this front heavy device where everything's in it. And yes, I think everything should go the Pico route where you're offloading some of that to the rear and pulling that weight back off of it. Um, but it's the trade off. If you want modular, that's going to how it's going to be i mean there's no getting around that and yeah. you're not going to have you know a separate battery pack on the back no company's going to do that because they want to sell it and build it and put it all I into one i think device. they should i still think a battery should, on the back they... hot swappable that way uh you can buy a couple of them like you do a camera and once it goes low you pop a new one in or something like that i but, know but, but i don't the, know the camera placement on this is not my cup of tea either we need to get them wider we yeah, need those wide right. lenses I mean, how many 360 cameras do I own? Those lenses will shoot 180 degrees on one lens. Even this, That's I incredible. mean, look how much more on the corner this is exactly. where those are like exactly. here. They're like on the fronts right. instead of on That's, the corners to show it's you. the problem with the G2. This is they, that new they uh, don't Chinese head strap I tried too. This thing's awesome. Yeah. That's in the video we did yesterday. It's actually a really cool. awesome head strap. And it, I'm using the uh, Nivrana battery bank. It has a battery bank holder in the back. It's awesome. It for, for like 39 bucks is a yep. really cool head strap. But. Travel and Men said they aren't making this. They received an award. But right. Right, right. right. Yeah. It's not. This is a prototype design yeah, that yeah, they got an award for. We just thought right. it looked it's, cool, and and they yeah. said that it could have the the one they actually are making could have some design elements from this. So that's yeah, uh, design, you know yeah. why we figured we would talk about it. This is Tyler's yeah. picture here. He said unveiling day checklist: clean glass head, put tape over Cosmos. Oh crap! What else did it say? I missed it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so that was he sent that to me, and I, we added that in here just to talk about it. When, because, the, when uh, that image first got leaked, I was gonna put that out there on Twitter and stuff, and I'm like, ah, we'll just we we'll, we'll didn't want to didn't want to start anything yeah. but uh right. but yeah so it says hide cables and don't say price <laughs> so but that this is supposedly the headset that they are uh going to be making is the one that's right. underneath that cover there we don't know what it looks right. like or anything like and that yet are but. we gonna see it at vivecon yeah are vivecon is coming I, up i'm sure so you know vivecon know I mean? is what may 11th and 12th or something like that 10th 11th 10th, 10th and 11th? 11th i can't remember 10th it's 11th. in notes from like a Thanks. previous show and I don't know what show, but <laughs> so 11th and 12th, Vivecon is May 11th and 12th. So that's coming up. So we should have some for sure info, but I like the design. You know, yeah. people talked about this, this thing looking like a, a pair agree. of sneakers, you know, uh, <laughs> GT calls, called it the, uh, the, the HTC. Yeezy. Yeah. Yeezy edition right. or something like yeah. that. So, uh, but I, I don't funny. know. My buddy had his Yeezys on yesterday here, <laughs> and uh, all I could do was think of this headset, this headset every yeah. time I looked at because they're they're the yellow, like you know this is more the neon green. But I'm like that's all I could think yeah. of when I looked at his shoes now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. It, I mean, it definitely is a little bit different, but I do. I mean, VR fitness is a big a big thing now. Oh, yeah. I mean, FitXR yeah. and stuff. There, it's like one of the highest selling games or something like that. I don't know, but exactly. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Step one: find turntable. <laughs> Trey VR said, <laughs> right. <laughs> "Right, that's true. It's true. That's HTC's uh, playbook right there." Oh, uh, but uh, yeah, no. I don't know. I'm excited to see what they do. I, I really am excited for VibeCon. I hope. I mean, even though they're saying, you know, a lot of people are still saying, and I even think they said something about being enterprise still, which is just mm -hmm. code word for way too expensive, which exactly. sucks. But I, I still want to see what they do. I don't know. But at the same time, the G2 is sold as more of a enterprise headset. You know what I mean? But, you know, they kind of adapted it for gaming, they said. So it's I don't know. I, I feel like they need to hit this mobile market. I feel like they need the mobile yeah. headset. If we get another wired headset from them that is just enterprise, I no, feel I don't like think that's where they're going. Yeah, I it mean, they said they're going to release a mobile headset this year. So that's that's oh. what they said a while back. It's what like the CEO said. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I, it's going to be, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see, you know, we don't have a whole lot longer before we should have, uh, the yeah, info and uh here's a yep. oculus code for thrill of the fight which is one of my favorite workout games i don't think you can get a better workout in vr as True. compared to thrill of the fight i think it'll kick your butt so that is up on the screen <laughs> now uh hopefully somebody grabs that but or uh, break controllers one or the other yeah, yeah another reason why you shouldn't have a ceiling fan and well this one you're not reaching up high but man no. some of those games where you're like over the head on stuff yeah see my i'm not I under my ceiling fan thing. though so i never even come True. i've never hit it i've never even come close to hitting it in this room but uh, I, but I, I, it just feels so good to have that ceiling fan on you though. But yeah, Dude, so I've Chris, lights, uh, yeah, you have, lights. you broke an overhead light in the last house you were in. Controllers. Yeah, yeah. Chris said, uh, "Thrill the fight, great game. Grats to whoever gets it." Yeah, it's yeah, right. One of my favorites. I cannot wait for the second one. The second one is supposed to be coming out this year and it has multiplayer, which oh, I cannot wait. 
It's gonna be so AC, awesome. AC and haptic <laughs> and haptics vest would keep us from sweating. Yeah, like liquid cooled needs some cooling and stuff in yeah, it. Yeah, active cooling. Uh, that's what uh, uh, the the V so haptics sick. needs to come out with something like that with some right? some kind of active cooling because yeah, it does yeah. get hot in VR. It, it really does. I mean, that's oh, yep, it really does. Uh, mm-hmm. Another one that we were talking about this week, uh, there's a trailer yeah. out there. This is called Freeland VR. And essentially, after watching this trailer, uh, it is essentially Ready Player One is what they're trying right? to achieve. I mean, from the different worlds, they said, oh, you can hop off world and go fight with your buddies. And like, I mean, it was essentially Ready Player One. Uh, very ambitious. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Uh, I, I, when I see these kind of games that say they're going to deliver what this trailer says it's going to deliver, th- I mean, I, this is a massive undertaking. You're not building one game. You're essentially building a ton of games all in one with all these different worlds. And I mean, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. Trailer yeah, looks cool it, though. It's, it's a uh, trying to think, I think about a seven person development team on this, at least currently. And it's been in the works for a while. I mean, there was a trailer out for yeah, this it's like a, a year couple years ago. ago yeah. Um, but they're they're really trying to get it to the point of, you know, getting some funding right now, uh, whether that be through Kickstarter or private funding. I think it could be. I mean, they've got some mechanics they've got worked on and some world development stuff. But to see it at this scale, I mean, would be crazy. I mean, it would be very, very impressive. And it's a huge undertaking. But yeah, it is. I, I, I mean, honestly, I think the first one of these to go big and do it right and do it well will be huge. I mean, it'll yeah, I be, agree. I mean, a thing that people look back on and it's like, do you remember when we, you know, did this in VR and went this place and this world and unlocked this and hunted for this? Uh, I think it would be epic. I mean, it yeah. would be something if it was done right, I would be hard to get me out of. I mean, I it agree. really would. I mean, I think but, that eventually we're going to have something like this in VR, but like you right. said, it's who, who's going to do it first and who's going to do it well enough you know, yeah. that, that it's going to be, I mean, cause oh, I mean, this is almost like what VR chat is in, 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 in a sense, you know, because people can build their own right. worlds and stuff, but this is supposed to be much more Pretty of massive. a seamless, yeah, massive thing. And they're talking about designing your own avatar, uh, designing your own property. I think there's even a uh, purchasing property, which we've, we've seen some other we've games, you know, talk about that. that kind of stuff, right. uh, meet people from all over the world, challenges, there's challenge other players in racing, PVP, hidden, yeah. find hidden Puzzle secrets, stuff. fight right. together in epic raids, find treasures of freelance. I mean, it's definitely very ready player <sighs> one ish. And, and I, sure. and I love it. I love the right. idea. I don't know if these are going to be the guys to do it. I hope they do. I mean, I, I, hope, I, so. I hope they right. do. They, and they are planning on a Kickstarter. So I'm on their website now. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a thing to sign up to be the first to know when our Kickstarter launches. So they, they haven't right. launched. Are we still there? My power yeah. just flickered. Yeah, it did. That was weird. That was really weird. Are we still alive? <laughs> I don't <laughs> that was know. Amazing. My one monitor yeah. shut off. Uh, yeah, we're still up, I think. Huh. Yeah. As long as you guys still see us, let us know if we did. Yeah, or my did. power just weird. straight flickered for a second. And I didn't awesome. know what happened. Yeah. So that was kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, generator cycling. No, right. the generator cycles on earlier before the show, but that never messes okay. the power. That's like completely separate. Right. But yeah, uh, that was awesome. I don't know. That's really weird. Hopefully, we're still alive. I lost a monitor. Oh, we're still here. Sweet. All right, good. Oh, it's awesome. Uh-oh. I'm yeah, going to fry the monitor. I'm going to be super bummed about that. I can't get it to turn on. Yeah. So huh. Interesting. I'm not going to have a chat over there. That's my chat monitor. I got chat. I got chat over here. I see I can't you believe guys. it didn't yep, lose the good. signal, though, because the power. Right. I mean, me neither. It flickered quick. on me at my end, too. I'm surprised it didn't drop our uh, yeah, connection. Yeah, that was too. so crazy. Uh, I'm going to get chat up on my phone so that I can see it. But anyways, yeah. I don't know where I was, but they are they are talking about doing a Kickstarter and stuff. I, I, yep. I, 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 I hope they do good. I hope they do good. I don't know, you know what their past history is on any projects or anything like that. But uh, no, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask chat, are we, uh, are we going to see what any large scale, large scale world <laughs> games this year? Because I think we're too far out myself. Yeah, but there's been people that have been uh, working on this stuff for, for so long. I don't know. I know, but I don't think we're there yet because of like the the processing power needed. So if you want to play something like this on Quest, it, it can't probably handle this unless we have you know oh, like no, a yeah. a shadow you know style or I just I just don't think we're there yet. I don't think we have the power uh, in a lot of the headsets now. If you're using a PC for it, then sure. I mean, it you, you probably could, but it's still a big undertaking I just for a company think it's to too make. Far out. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it needs to be a collaboration with a lot of big time developers to actually put out okay. something that's going to be Ready Player One ish and successful. But sure. I don't know. 
Look, look at Horizons. Horizons yeah. wanted to dabble in this, and what is that? And you know what I mean? Still, I haven't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm still in the beta. I haven't hopped in in a while. And I, I, Oculus did just do an update where you can do uh, updated avatars and stuff that are usable in a couple different games and stuff, which is cool. But I mean, if if I mean, if Facebook has massive amounts of money, and if they don't have something that's on the level of what this video is, you know, I mean, this right. video looks ridiculously good. But right. I don't know. I mean, if Facebook can't do it yet, I I don't know. So, and we did get a new Patreon. Alexander Wolf uh, is a new Patreon that just Cheers, pledged. Alexander. I uh, just got a notification for that. So, thank you so much. That is, that is Cheers, really awesome. Absolutely, yeah. I, I feel um, really weird without my chat screen over there. I, know, I, I, sure. I really hope I didn't burn that monitor up. That was a Christmas gift, and I love that thing. Right? But uh, uh, Anakazi said, "What's your definition of large scale? Elite Dangerous has been out since fourteen. Not like you know, not like a." More like a, a living, breathing world. Massively what, multiplayer. Yeah, you know, ready player one. I mean, sure. No Man's yeah. Sky is essentially a massive game that, that is, is almost what, you know, we're talking about in a sense. But sure. I mean, this is, I mean, basically Ready Player One, the movie. That's, that's ready what player we're talking one about. Style. Yeah. Exactly. And it's, yep. yeah, I don't think No Man's Sky or, or Elite Dangerous is that, but those are massive, massive games. They are. So. I mean, they give you taste of it. They definitely give you that feel. I mean, yeah. but I guess we're, you know, you can venture and do things with people and do missions or play something uh, inside yeah. of it. And I know we have the smaller scale stuff, you know, we do, we have VR chat. Um, and even some of those are still have, big scale, but I still have, don't think of those as being the ready player one of VR. Room, you know what I mean? Right. I mean, rec rooms like a small scale version of that, yeah. you know, but to have, this size. I mean, I this mean, video, this video I looks just, awesome. So Anana Kaze right. said, so gang V with a question mark. Eh, I don't think that one's going to cut it either. And that yeah. one's definitely a little too uh, uh, buggy to be, but they did add recently right. add in gang V jump and climb, which I want to hop back yeah, in that's there. Good. Yeah, that's, that, good. that's cool. I can't wait to jump back in. There. Yep. I still like the game. I just think that uh, they, they brought it to early access a little too early probably because it's still pretty buggy, but, yep. uh, but it's a cool yeah, game. Yeah. I definitely, yep. I definitely like it. It's just, you know, yeah, so uh, the voting, are we going to see large scale this year? 35 yes and 65% no. So, huh. yeah, I, I don't think we are either. I think we're, uh, personally, I think we're a good five years out before we see something. I really do. I don't think, I don't think we're going to see anything perfectly done for the next five years. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. We always think we're getting these tastes of things and it's closer. Um, but for large scale stuff, I think we're a good five years out. I yeah. do. Yeah, probably. Really do. Probably so. Uh, and it could still be Facebook that does it with Horizons. But after playing the beta, I didn't have a whole lot of hope in that. But I haven't played it in a while. I'm sure they're constantly improving right. it. But uh, and this science is... teacher just said uh, she made her account for Zenith last night, which, uh, ah. yeah. We could have some of that coming up. I don't, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. Uh, we could have some footage of that coming up or some live streams uh, possibly yep. this coming week. I'm not sure. Uh, but, yeah. But uh, another VR Spry Guy code here for Killing Floor Incursion on Steam uh, make sure you grab that. And I did want to mention too, uh, and we probably should have mentioned this earlier. Uh, we're probably going to do the live stream for the coffee and VR show. Not Saturday this coming week. It's probably going to be Thursday night because, uh, uh my anniversary yeah. is coming up and we're going to be out of town, but I, I wanted to, uh, give away a wander code because this, yep. uh, this is a game, uh, not a game, but essentially it's like Google earth, uh, for the quest, except yeah. for you can't fly around and stuff. But I love this for vacations because we're, we're going to Florida. We're going to Clearwater, Florida, which I'm super excited. I've never been before in my life. It looks gorgeous, but I used this to see where we were going to stay. So when I, when we were figuring out where we wanted to stay, I hopped yeah. into this and I looked at some different hotels, some different areas of the beach. And this gives you such a better idea of where you want to stay on vacation. Or if you, you know, you have friends that live far away, if you want to see what their town looks like and where they sure. live, it's such a cool experience. And I believe this, uh, wonder actually has multiplayer now where you can experience uh, stuff together. We haven't tried that, but I hop in no. this all the time. Like for the vacation stuff, I'm like, Oh, let's go see. Hey, maybe we don't want to stay in this area. You right. know, this area looks nicer than this area does. And it's, it is great for that kind of stuff. So I highly recommend it. Uh, I don't think it's real expensive on the quest anyways, if I remember right, I think it's like 10, 10 or 15 bucks if I remember right. Uh, but there is a code for somebody to grab that. I, I it's really a cool, a cool thing to have. It's a, it's yeah. almost a must have. If you ask me, I love it. So. I really, there's a lot of great experiences and stuff. I mean, just even experiences in general that are yeah. so cool to do that. A lot of people don't try our older stuff. We always say that there's so many good old games to go back. Oh, and, yeah. you know, if you're just browsing games, don't always look at the new stuff because there's great older stuff too. Yeah, it really sure. is. Uh, did you read that uh, article about the uh, 3080 Ti? No, I haven't. No, I didn't get to read that yet because I, I, I don't know. I just, 
you know, the higher GPU stuff is kind of off my radar now. I just, I haven't needed it. They're too hard to get. Yeah, so I agree. So just kind of just, they lost the hype for me, I guess, yeah. is the best way to say it. The, the cool thing about the 3080 Ti, other than the fact that it, I mean, it's going to be closer to a 3090 almost, a lot of the stuff, you know, it's pretty beast of a card. It is going right. to be kind of expensive. Uh, but the thing that they're saying that they're going to do with this is they're adding anti-mining measures, which should help keep the prices closer to MSRP. I'll believe that right. when I see it. I still think exactly. these are going to be scalped and everything else because there's, demand's still. I high. mean, there's still a yeah. shortage, you know, of, of materials to build these kind of things. So that you know, that's holding everything back too. Uh, but they're they're initially putting in something. So the new cards are supposed to integrate GA 102-202 and 302 chips recognized by only new drivers that automatically half the hashing rate. So they're. I mean, they're. I, I mean, I don't know why they can't do this with some of the other cards as well but they're essentially right. making it so these won't be as in high demand for mining purposes for for you know cryptocurrencies and stuff uh i believe in when i see it if that's going to help the price i i still think that it's going to be a huge shortage and i think that it's going to sell out really quick uh the 3080 yep. ti cards are uh, with almost as many CUDA cores as the 3090. So you're looking at 10,240 versus 10,496. So not much lower in that aspect. And the, the, the TI version is going to have 12 gigabytes over the 10 gigabytes of the regular 3080. So pretty cool. I, I would love to have one of these, but I'm sure I'm not going to be able to get one. And the MSRP is still supposed to be around $1,100 for the 3080 right. TI. So that's a lot of money compared Which, to a regular 3080. We talked about this a while back now, but I just don't get why they're spreading these cards so wide and not getting ones out that everybody wants that are even better price points. And, yeah. and, and they, I mean, they had issues with some of the, the 3080s with the silicone and you know, chip separations and all that crap that yeah. I just don't get. Now they're, they're pushing them even farther. So they must've made some improvements in some of their manufacturing, but I, I just don't get why they're doing all this. I don't, I don't, I don't I mean, know. I mean, they, they must do. have their reasons that's for what they sales do, or pretty numbers much. or so, yeah, they just want to hit yeah. the, the benchmarks probably. And, and I would love to have it. Like top, uh, Greg's but, VR said, it's all about that VRAM. You know, I would love right, to have exactly. this, but even a 3080, I sure. still want a 3080 for that. I think what those launched at what a $699 price tag is what they were supposed to be selling for, Right. which, right. you know, you can't buy them anywhere for that, no. unfortunately. But yeah, Still. maybe this will help with the anti-mining stuff. I doubt it. You know, this trailer isn't a 3080 Ti trailer. It's just a 3080 trailer. So I don't think they have an official but, trailer yet, but I'm still rocking a 2080 and I have no issues with yeah. stuff. Okay, yeah, now there's Microsoft some Flight stuff Simulator coming. and stuff. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. But, some but stuff. even but the 3080s whole... don't run that right, though, so... Right, exactly. So I, I don't have any need right now that I'm not, like, scavenging for a card. You know, if yeah. I had, like, a, a 1060 or 1080 or something, then sure, I, you need to upgrade... But I just don't have the need right now. So it's yeah. not on my radar. I would rather yep. get a yaw too than I would that. Yeah, you know too. what I mean? So for yeah. me, that's way more reward for my money yeah. than buying, you know, a 3080 or 3090 at that, I agree. you know, uh, so. I didn't want to talk about, so uh, Oculus wasn't really supposed to fully release Air, Air Link until next week. Uh, they right. went ahead and released that, what, yesterday or the day before? I well, guess everybody so many kept people, asking. Yeah, for and their, people yeah, were hacking the it. There was people hacking it and getting sure. the update and stuff somehow. So they went ahead and put it out. Uh, I did play with some of the Air Link stuff. I still personally seem to be getting better uh, performance through virtual yep. desktop than what I am through Air Link. Uh, Air Link, I was still having some latency issues. I was having uh, a lot more artifacts and stuff than what I get with virtual desktop. One thing that everybody's saying though, is if you were changing your, your bit encode rate, your, your, uh, in, in the Oculus debug tool. So if you're changing that to use with wired link, you need to go yeah. back and you need to set that to zero to use with air link. Uh, if you have that cranked up, it's going to air link will not work. Right. They, they did put that out there and say that. So if you do which, try which it, I, make sure you do that. I feel like they should have an auto, like, so it would do it by itself. Right. Yeah. I mean, or and something, I, and or I, some mine was set to zero um, when I was playing. I still, I, right. and I, I know they're going to keep improving this. I know it's going to get better. It was pretty seamless to, actually use it though all you do is you go into your oculus uh pc uh oculus app and you turn on experimental features for air link and then you do the same thing in your quest you turn on experimental experimental features for air link and then the same place where you would click to use link in uh when you were wired there's a little thing and you select it to connect to your pc using air link and, and it, i mean 
it worked well, you know, it was an easy sure. to jump in and jump out of air link, but uh, performance for me, and maybe that's just some of my issues. It wasn't as good as virtual desktop. So do let yeah, us know and- in the comments and in the, in the live stream, if you've used it and what your thoughts are compared to virtual desktop, because everybody specs and everything is different. So maybe it's different. And, for and virtual people. desktop is so easy as it is. I mean, you right. literally just go into the headset, start virtual desktop and you're in. Yeah. Um, it's literally that easy. Uh, so I don't know. I love virtual desktop. I really do. Yeah, I do too. Um, I've been using the heck out of it lately. It's still use, highly, highly recommend it. You can use 120 hertz uh, through virtual right. desktop as well with the uh, wireless streaming. You can mess around with some of that stuff too. Yep. Uh, I don't think that is an option anywhere that I've seen yet for AirLink, and I don't know if they're planning on doing it. I remember hearing something about that they weren't planning on doing 120 hertz for AirLink. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure about that now, if that's changed, but uh, virtual desktop is doing it. So, yep. yeah. I mean, a virtual desktop is great. I don't know that it, I don't think it's going anywhere for a while. I nope. think it's going to be uh, nope. here to stay. So, and like I don't we've know. always said, you get the more experimental features and stuff you can tune and do and monitor your connections and yeah, yeah, all kinds of stuff. The, yeah, the environment in it uh, works great. Yeah. Super, super great. I software. totally agree. So, but yep. I'm glad it's out there. I'm glad people yeah, can no, play around sure. with it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely no, curious great. to see what other people's uh, experiences with it. Uh, and yeah. I, I'll continue to mess with it. I'm sure they're going to keep rolling out updates and stuff to make it better. But virtual desktop just works so good and I already have it. So Right. And it'll lead for people to, with a Quest 2, maybe even to buy a PC for PC gaming too at this point, right? Yeah. I mean, I feel like, again, that's just the, the next step for people in VR when they want those serious games and play those games on PC that that's where they should be headed next is getting a PC yep. um, and definitely get one with a pre bundled graphics card because it's kind of the only way and the cheaper way to get them right now. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Uh, but yeah. And then on, on top of that, we've got people, you know, dabbling in the shadow stuff, which running quest two with shadow PCs and stuff. I saw somebody in chat said they played half-life Alex on their quest two with shadow and the PC was 15 miles away. Yeah. So that stuff's awesome. Um, and, and we're going to see more of that. Yeah. It's, I think that's a great route for people to look into. Um, I know Shadow's doing some beta testing and stuff of, you know, the Quest 2. Uh, it's great stuff, man. Yeah. And that's we're at this 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 kind of tipping point a little bit of starting to go that way of not maybe needing PCs, but you do right now. But are you going to? So yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. It's it's a crazy point of what for to sure. invest in. Not to, but I still like having a gaming PC. It's yeah, great. I do too. I, I think it's, I mean, if you're into it. VR and you can uh, save up and get one, I totally sure. think it's worth it. Uh, even if it you only prefer new... to play wirelessly, you can still do it with a PC now mm-hmm. uh, very well with uh, virtual yep. desktop and yep. AirLink essentially. But uh, And it does, AirLink does work with Steam as well. That was one concern that yep. I had is if they were going to lock out Steam. Uh, it does work with Steam games as well with AirLink. So that is definitely uh, a positive yep. for sure. So that's a, a good yeah, thing. Yeah, Liberty, Liberty in chat says, Shadow is what I use. I'd love to know. Yeah, leave a comment too. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think of it because that's something I would really like to, to dabble into. Um, it, it really intrigues me and to see where it's at. I haven't done it yet with Shadow, um, but I've heard good things. So yeah, I'm interested sure. in that. Um, I want to draw the winner real quick for uh, we had Pistol Ooh, yeah, Whip Code call. giveaway and uh, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. Uh, so the, the Pistol Whip winner is. Uh, Hussein, so Mutant VR. Sweet. Uh, Hussein, I'm not sure. Yeah. Hussein X? Uh, I don't know if it's Hussein X. I don't think it is. I'm not sure. So, uh, maybe? but we will be, yeah, maybe it is Hussein X, uh, but we will be emailing you after the show uh, to send you over that key. So that was for Pistol yep. Whip, which is a fantastic game and getting yep. a free update coming here soon. Uh, and then we also have Star Wars Tale, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. Uh, draw that winner here real quick. So, and we still have other game giveaways. We still have a sport mode uh, game giveaway and a Quest Two headset giveaway. Uh, yep. That is for Micah H. So Micah nice. H was Cheers. the winner of uh, Star That's Wars: awesome. Tales from the Galaxy Edge. So, congrats yep. on that. We will be emailing nice. you after the show. So it was you saying that. Okay, yeah, that, I thought maybe yeah, it was because yeah, awesome. from the email. Yep. So yeah, that's awesome. So yep. Cheers, good man. Stuff. Good stuff. Yep, so. that's awesome. I, why is that? It's it's funny, you know. All the everyone who's like super active in our community, I feel like they they win stuff all the time, right? It's yeah. So I mean, weird. it's completely random. I don't draw. It's this is totally through Glee. random. Yeah. You just hit pick yep. winner, and it selects a winner uh, randomly. Yep through it so yeah it's pretty cool so we love giving stuff away sign up for the other giveaways we have going on we always have them going on so we'll have more 
Uh, so yep. make sure you follow us. Anything else that you wanted to get into? I know we have, uh, think, yeah, we talked uh, about a lot of the games, uh, last Wednesday. So if you missed the yeah, Oculus gaming did. showcase, we covered pretty yep. much all the games. Tyler is super excited about carve. I am yes. beyond excited yes. for, and, uh, after the fall. Oh, Me too. Man, I told you, so man. Good. I'm tied. So good. Okay. So after watching everything again, multiple times after, I think I'm back on board with after the fall being my top game. Man, it's I really so, am. And Just I think you might've have have said so much kind of that anyways. Together on the show but yeah i mean it, it's uh, that after yep. the fall looks so good four player co-op i yep. cannot wait Ooh. for this i mean co-op in vr is where it's at for me i absolutely love co-op in vr and we did play we talked about the gtfo our gf yes. gtfo uh the mod for that we did play a little bit of that last weekend with fluke yep. uh I that play was pretty that good yeah too. i want to really, really i do want to spend yeah. some more time in that too that was yeah. pretty good uh, we had some trouble getting it going with controller stuff but we ended up downloading some uh, custom controller bindings which took care of that uh fluke yep. said his performance wasn't great in it though my, my performance is actually Mine running pretty fine. good yeah. yeah i think he has maybe a 1080 or something we're on 2080s i can't remember what right. his specs are but uh he said it was giving him some performance issues but yeah. it worked oh, good for me but this. after the fall it looks so good four player co-op the makers from arizona sunshine uh this is gonna be a great game i i yep. am so excited for this game i think i think vertigo for my birthday should let me play this that would be oh so yeah awful. seriously send over a key we would love to get it we would love oh, to just play yeah. co-op in this the two of us right now and then mm. we'll, we'll definitely be playing some four player co-op with some people from discord right. and stuff so make sure you join the discord once this comes out i, won't I cannot tell anybody. wait yeah we won't, tell, won't anybody tell anybody if you send us over no. a key and let us play no. this now yeah, I'm sure they have a playable build right now they could send us. I'm sure, sure they, they do. do. So sure they do. That would be awesome. Yeah. And also Carve looks really good, which Tyler was a it big does. fan it of does, uh, 1080 man. snowboarding. When he saw that pop up on the stream, he was like, what? Like, because yep. we were watching the stream together uh, through Skype, and he was he got real excited uh, yep. when he saw this. So it does I look good. Dropped, yeah. Yeah. And, and please wish list VR Skater 2. I highly, highly recommend it. Pick it up. It comes out in six days. Super cool game. The music is on point i yeah, will say that yeah um it's so good the music yeah. is exactly what you would expect to come out of like tony hawk or any any old school skateboarding game um it's great love yeah. it super good and and yep. and uh ouk said still looking forward to lo-fi the most and uh yeah, yeah that's lo-fi, massive. That's i, I haven't played any of the updates actually. the latest updates yeah. lately if you back yeah. that uh on Kickstarter, if you uh, you can buy it now through I forget what the website yep. is. If you look back on our LoFi videos, it, the link is in there. But you can purchase that now. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I, think it is, uh, right? I don't know, I don't remember. But uh, you can purchase it and essentially play it through the development phase, and it's a playable game now. Uh, yeah. I think he's, I mean, he's constantly adding more in there, so that is one that yeah. is uh, coming up that I'm excited about too. Great uh, polish great polish yeah. audio spatial is incredible yeah Ugh, I'm, lighting I'm super so cool excited. yeah some Acid cool stuff 3X. what's up man some cool stuff see everybody uh, yeah yeah some cool stuff got announced at the yeah. jamie showcase none of the stuff we were really really hoping for like the assassin's creed and splinter cell stuff we didn't get uh and the only thing that was announced that we didn't know was coming was essentially uh the car snowboarding one you know right. they did give us more information on resident evil 4 which is going to be yep. awesome in vr you know so, a lot of stuff to be excited about and i am for very sure. excited so yep and make sure you go back and watch or listen to the last one if you do want to be updated on those that's why yeah. we didn't want to go over them today we kind of already did it um and gamer tag was on so again thanks to him yeah. for coming on that for sure uh always good talking to him and bsing with him after the show it's always a good time yep. but yeah definitely uh, i think that's about it that's right about it. i'm else? really bummed i hope my monitor didn't crap out i, I, know, I can't get I it to know. turn back I'm on about it all day. i'm gonna mess with it after the show over that little power surge we had uh the right. lights all flickered and we didn't lose the stream if you're in here but yeah my monitor i cannot get yep. to turn back on so i'm a little worried about yep. that so but Scornful yeah. six says he's been late the past few weeks. I'm sorry, man. We, we it's our good time slot. We kind of like to do this. Um, it's when we would do it normally. Uh, you can always look us up on, you know, Apple, Apple podcast, Amazon podcast, Spotify, all of those too. Yep. But, for sure. Yeah, and we appreciate listen. everybody yeah. being here. All the super chats, yep. the buy me a coffees, all the happy birthday yep. wishes to Tyler. Really awesome. I mean, we love Absolutely. this community. Guys. Yeah. Really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah. I do probably have to go clean up a little because I still smell like coffee. <laughs> missed the first part You'll of the show. You'll know why. If, probably yeah, if good. Yeah. Show, <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly. All right, man. Yeah. Let's roll out of here. Um, yeah, we got to play something good this week. I don't know what I'm playing, actually. I haven't even thought about it. Yeah, I don't know. Sim racing. I know a I couple things. Man. Yeah, I have, I have to, have to get, get out of my here. new wheel. Actually, I have should to be go here order today. my freaking sim rig, and yeah. I have to play some sim do racing. It. That's what I'm going to go order do. Order the all two, man. Just do it. Like I think if you don't order it, you're going to regret it. I mean, you might well, as well order now. The sooner you order it, the sooner you're going to get it. I mean, that thing is awesome. I'm so excited for that thing. So, yeah. all right, we'll see. I guess we'll know next week, right? Yeah, yeah. You'll let Except us know next week. Uh, Thursday. Yep. Next next week is going to be Thursday. Coffee and VR live yes. stream. 
just because go. I'm going to be on That's vacation. Good. So yep. Thursday, yep. catch us on the Coffee and VR live stream, not on Saturday, yep. not on our normal time. So yep. but thank that, you guys, Sample Liberty Beanzo, for the happy birthdays and stuff. Uh, we will catch you guys on the next one or maybe during the week. We'll see yeah. if we play something. Yep. Yep. All right, let's roll. We're out of here. Everybody. We'll see you guys. See you back here. See you in VR. Later. See you.